Hello everyone, I am Pepino, back for some more Kerbal Space Program. And last time we were busy sending a probe to Duna. Uh, but that didn't end particularly well. We still got the information we wanted, but it could have gone better. But anyway, while we were doing that, uh, Jebediah and the boys on the ground were experimenting with a new technology, which you see here. This is the space plane, and Jebediah is now taking a space plane for the first test flight. And this could be dangerous, so we gotta watch out uh, and be very, very careful. We've added parachutes to it, just in case anything goes horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, he probably won't put this plane up into orbit. This is just gonna be a test flight around Kerbin... Uh, staying within the atmosphere to see how well these things work and uh, what we can use them for. So we're gonna see how well Jebediah can control this space plane. Here we go, launching in three, two, one. There we go. Got our thrust getting up. Now these space planes are much harder to control than uh, rockets. There we go, we're off the ground. And uh, this is feeling a little bumpy. And the engine is starting to overheat. So we gotta watch out for that. We apparently can't go quite that quick. Um. Alright. So we're going at a stable speed and direction now. So far, so good for Jebediah, uh, flying over the ocean. Uh, it's not so much the flying that's gonna be a problem, I don't think. It's gonna be the landing. Uh, uh, so, yeah, this could be a little difficult. I'm doing all the controls manually here, too, so we get a feel for how to fly these things, because I haven't done much with them. And, uh... I think they could be interesting to use, but I just have never done it. Alright, there we go, we've stabilized ourselves. Uh, the one thing that I do notice, if you just leave the SAS on, they tend to drift uh, either up or down, which can get real annoying. Uh, so that's why I'm doing the manual controls, which is making the flight a little bumpy. Uh, the thing about space planes is they're really fuel efficient. I mean, look at this. We haven't actually even made a dent, really, in our fuel reserves. Uh, I mean, I guess we've used almost one-thirtieth of it uh, so far on this flight. So we could fly around for quite a while. Uh, as long as Jebediah doesn't crash. And that would be terrible. We don't want to lose our best uh, astronaut in test flying a plane. But he was the one who volunteered to do it. So this is what's going to happen. So now we're at 3,000 meters uh, of altitude above the ocean. Let's try and increase that if we can. We pulled up pretty quick there, and we're going up still at a fairly steady pace. Uh, Alright, 4,000, let's get up to around 5,000, if we can. And, alright, uh, this will be close enough. Jebediah, time to try some maneuvers, let's do a barrel roll. and bring ourselves out of it. There we go. And let's stabilize there. And now it's tough to stabilize yourselves and like I said uh, this plane isn't the greatest. This is just a stock plane. Uh, it was not designed by us here at the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, it was pre-designed, and we are just using it, uh, 
these things are a nightmare to build, so I don't know if we'll be doing much with them, but I figured I would take an episode just to show them to you guys. So now, let's try this. Let's try turning. Alright, we're turning fairly well. And uh, we're at four minutes of flight time. And we've still got plenty of fuel, almost all of it. So we're going to turn towards land and be flying over land from now on. Although we are dropping in altitude, so we should probably fix that. Uh, and if I'm not good at flying these things, it's because I don't really do it ever. I think I may have mentioned that. Um, so, yeah, this is just kind of a nice break from the normal everything we've done, and a little joyride for Jebediah, uh, as long as he doesn't die in the process, because that would be not good. He's loving it, though. So let's, let's do another barrel roll. Alright. Now let's pull ourselves up so that we can gain some altitude here. Rather than uh, just dropping constantly. Uh, yeah, not quite go that fast. We're going to overheat. Alright. Uh, let's fly upside down for a bit. Um, and again, this isn't the smoothest, uh, and I'm kind of focused a lot on what I'm doing here, just because, uh, if I don't, Jebediah will die. Uh, and, now, these things, at least in my experience, have a very low survival rate. So... I will try to bring it in for landing, but it's not going to be easy. So, let's head back in the general direction of the space program launch site. Um, don't want to be dropping in altitude that quickly there are mountains over here and that would be a bad choice for a landing destination um, but let's head that way there we go returning fairly well um, Alright, we're facing almost the right direction. Alright, uh... Now, like I said, coming in for landing, these things are kind of a pain. Uh... And I've successfully landed one once, uh, in one of my other files that I choose not to mention very often in this series if I can just because you know we're uh, still learning at this Kerbal Space Program so this is the first flight ever we'll see if Jebediah can accomplish another first in the Kerbal Space Program history the first successful uh, space plane flight and you don't want to be the first at something to fail it's easy to be the first at and fail at something anyone can get in here and fly this thing it's gonna be surviving the landing that's gonna be tough now we can start our descent I don't necessarily have to land on the space program area, but I'd like to. It would be really convenient if we could. Let's 
So, we need to get up here. And we're going to try bring this thing down safely. And uh, let's hope Jebediah lives. I'm breaking the sweat here on my fingers. Hold on. It's very tense. Gotta do this absolutely right. Or it's not gonna work. Now, coming in for landing. There are buildings there, so we gotta watch out for those. Uh, so let's go this way a little more. Right there is fine. Oh, this is this is very tense. All right, there we go. We're evened out, and we are level where we want to be for landing. We are a little low, and we're going pretty quick. Uh, I'm not going to worry about hitting the runway. This whole area has been flattened off for the purposes of the space program. So, except for there's buildings and stuff over there. We're going to make sure to avoid those. Alright, here we go. Jebediah, moment of truth. Coming in for the landing. Come on. Come on, Jebediah. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Alright, we want to land with our landing gear. Hitting nice and slowly. Alright, so we're descending a little slower than I would like. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Less than 100 meters. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Jebediah. Oh, we should slow down our engines. Whoa. Alright, alright, alright. We skipped off the ground. We skipped off the ground. That's not what we had in mind. But, we are now slowing down. I should have slowed down the engines a long time ago. That was, that was my bad, Jebediah. Alright, there we go. Let's hit the brakes. And, hope they bring us to a nice stop. Whew, looks like we did it. That was, that was one of my most tense missions. Because, I didn't want to kill Jeb. Uh, he's definitely my favorite uh, Kerbal. So, uh, it was a little rough landing, mostly because of my not paying attention. But there he is, the brave pilot. Uh, once again, another successful mission for Jeb, another first. And once again, he makes Kerbal space program history. So, good job, Jeb. You have a little victory dance there. And you can get down off your plane. There we go. Alright, we'll, we'll send someone to pick you up. Uh, or you can just walk back. But, alright. Thank you guys for watching. That was just my little test of space planes. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And we will be back to the rockets next episode. Bye bye